run through this really quick with you because it's a little easier if you see it in action instead of me trying to explain it through a text message. You're going to be receiving this right here. This is your mother mold, okay? All right? So I'm going to be sending this to you in the mail. I'm also going to send you uh, one that I've already painted and, and a couple plugs right here. So um, here's what we got right here. Basically what I used was this right here, which is a smooth cast 65 part A and B. Um, and uh, it's real simple. You can see these cups right here, Fatima. And all I've done is, is, is this is a one-to-one -one ratio, okay? Now, you can use all different kinds of products. This is just a liquid plastic. You have liquid resins, urethanes, but um, most all chemicals are going to be a one-to-one -one ratio or they're going to be measured by weight. So it just depends on what kind of chemical you get. Um, and really mixing these chemicals and pouring them in the mold is is easy man as you can see right here i've already measured out my a and b and i just eyeballed it because it's a one-to-one -one ratio i didn't weigh anything right so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a and b and we're gonna mix them together and then none of their chemicals are actually well they're all non-toxic so you don't really have to worry about wearing gloves and mask and all that shit so and i just stirred up now, this, any liquid plastics like this 65D, and what that 65D means, the different numbers mean different hardnesses of whatever material you're mixing. Um, but this stuff right here has a cure time of about 10 minutes, man. So once I've got that, now before I pour this mold, now I only have just a little bit of time to let that sit, but before I pour this mold, I need to make sure that my mold is level. And I went ahead and leveled out my plate here, okay? So once I've got this mixed, I'm just going to take my time. And I'm just going to gently pour this in here. Making sure that the liquid comes all the way up flush with the mold. Okay? Now, we're going to let that set. And this stuff has about, like I said, about a 10 to 15 minute cure time. Now, when I pull this out, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get this plug right here, this cast. And you're going to notice on this thing, it's going to have to be cleaned up as you pour these things, okay? Now, if you get kind of close right here on the camera, Fatima, you can see how the edges are kind of jagged here. And your O's are a little crooked here. And you're going to have to clean some of this out or this right here. You see these little things that end up sticking in the mold. So what you're going to do is I usually use just a little X-Acto knife or a Dremel and I just come in and I just and I just clean them out man um, real easy just clean them out smooth them down take your little sandpaper clean everything out and and I'll let you take care of that man you'll also have to like even some of this out like here you know um, so you're never gonna have like a perfect pour you're gonna have to come in and clean out your outside edges and make them smooth and uh, of course we're going for the rough look on the inside now I went ahead and painted one of these for you, man. I'm going to tell you how I did it because there is a way to paint these things, okay? I basically took this whole this whole plug and I painted it black with a rattle can, spray paint, all right? Now, I'll let that cure. And what I did is I came in with a brush with just, you can paint plastics and resins and all that stuff with just a regular acrylic paint, which is a hobby paint. Or you can use enamels, which is things like they use on model cars and stuff like that. Enamels are a lot harder. Um, whereas your acrylics are a lot softer, but I just used acrylics because that's what I had. Now, one thing because this this has that rough look to it, you don't want to just come in here and just start jamming painting this shit, man. All right, because what's going to happen is you're going to lose your detail. So what I'll do, man, is I'll dip just a little bit on the brush, and I'll take it and I'll just feather it across because I don't want paint ending up in my cracks here. Right, because that's that's the whole look you're shooting for. So that's all I'm doing, man. Is I'll dip some paint in there and I'll just drag my brush real lightly across the top of this thing. Right now, here's the deal, man. Um, if you're still unsure about this or you're uncomfortable about pouring these molds and painting them, uh, I don't mind doing it. I just figured that this would probably be the easiest thing um, for you. Being that you can pour them as you need them, and we don't have to keep shipping stuff back and forth. But if that's the route you want to go, I don't mind at all, man. Um, I'm going to keep one of these plugs right here with me. That way, if something ever happens to your mold, um, the, the dog chews it up, you lose it, you get pissed and throw it away, whatever it is, 
I'm gonna keep one of these that way if something happens to your mother mold I can I can make another mold for you all right so I'll keep one of these in stock with me I'm gonna send you this plug and I'm gonna send you this and um, you can see it's already starting to cure right now. It's starting to turn white. Now, kind of be careful when you take this thing out of the mother mold. You don't want to just start yanking shit out. I usually take just some kind of little tool. It doesn't matter. You can use a small knife or anything like that and just kind of peel it back. This thing is real flexible. You can bend it and twist it, and it's not going to tear. All right? So um, I'm going to send you the guys, uh, the information to uh, Reynolds Advanced Materials. Um, that's where I get all my stuff. Now, look, man. You can pour plastics in this thing. You can pour resins. You can pour faux metals, whether it's like bronze, if you're looking for a bronze effect or a chrome effect or anything like that. You can even pour urethane rubbers and, and silicones in this, but I don't think you're going that route. So I would stick to the plastics and things like that. Um, but I'll give you some contact information for them guys. Um, and like I said, all these chemicals, I mean, it's really just reading the can. It's either going to be one to one or 10 to one. And just mixing it. If it's a 10 to 1 ratio, usually I can use like a little food scale, right? And I'll measure it out by grams because it's a little harder to eyeball a 10 to 1 ratio like it is a 1 to 1. So um, these things are pretty forgiving, man. Um, them guys over at Reynolds, tell them what you're shooting for. Tell them what you like. And um, I, they have never steered me in the wrong direction. But like I said, I'll send you the contact info for that. So if you have any questions with this, just give me a buzz. I'm also going to see my phone number, okay? And you should be receiving the stuff in the mail here in the next few days. Good luck with it, man. All right? Thanks.